There are no rules in this war. The situation is summed up as a, a hell like no else. A brutal genocidal war has been raging in Ethiopia for more than two years. People in the northern province of Tigray are in acute crisis. Over a half a million dead, thousands raped, starving, displaced. And the roots of world cultural heritage are being destroyed. The highlands of Ethiopia, on the Horn of Africa, where Ethiopian Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed, with neighboring allies, including Eritrea, launches what he called a law enforcement operation on Tigray. In effect, what was an invitation to invade his own country has become a total and indiscriminate war on Ethiopia by Ethiopians. That there are no rules in this war, and that includes destroying places of worship and the people who worship there. The church will be bombed. Be it civilians, youths, they must be shot altogether. From the start, it was clear this was a war against our history and heritage. We have seen all the damage done to heritage and artifacts, from one end of Tigray to the other. Our artifacts and our heritage, irrespective of religion, were specifically targeted. Progressive acts of genocide are being perpetrated by the governments and agents of the states of Eritrea and Ethiopia against Tigrayans. What we're really talking about is the annihilation of a whole ethnic group, of a whole population. It is a rare genocide that is not inflicted uh, under the fog of war and using the kind of opportunities that war presents for extreme solutions. Civilians continue to suffer egregious human rights violations, including mass killings and further displacement. Divisive and dehumanizing rhetoric and hate speech reported to the Human Rights Council has further deteriorated initial humanitarian efforts. So what was called a law enforcement operation to the international community it was turned into a designed policy to, to the obliteration of Tigray, its people, its resources, its cultural monuments and heritage. Ironically, much of the culture being destroyed in Tigray is shared by all of Ethiopia. It's a cradle of the Ethiopian identity, the Ethiopian culture, Ethiopian language, Ethiopian history, all are coming from, uh, from Tigray. Cultural heritage is a foundation of a people's identity. A people can be explained by the legacies that have been passed down the generations. Therefore, cultural heritage and the people's identity go together. They cannot be separated. If one or the other is destroyed, there is no life, there is no existence. Ethiopia's material culture has not suffered in 500 years like it has suffered in the last 16 months. Ethiopia is destroying its own culture by destroying the Tigrayan heritage. Every church, every site was damaged, robbed or looted. So this is the situation because everywhere in Tigray the army has uh, reached the goal was to ensure that Tigrayans would have no heritage no culture no identity it was intentional to erase the identity of Tigrayans an identity embodied in thousands of ancient churches and monasteries across Tigray hundreds of which are literally carved out of the mountain rock these are places which are which shows you know universal values uh, universal significance and uh, they have an outstanding values for human history and culture. After the bomb hit here, the sharpener hit everything, historical and spiritual books. It left nothing.
We ran from the shelling. It was Ethiopian Christmas, and everything was destroyed. Manuscripts like these number in the thousands across Tigray, written and taught by priests and monks since the 4th century AD. Every village has a church. Um, and every village church would need approximately 40 manuscripts to maintain the liturgy of the year. So let's just put it in simple, even numbers. If you have a thousand churches, you've got 40,000 manuscripts. And there are a lot more than that in Tigray. This centuries-old wealth of Tigrayan historical culture is simply being erased. <laughs> This was not simply law enforcement. Everything of value was burned. Seven shells fell on this church building and around it. And all the holy books and liturgical objects within were damaged or destroyed as well. Worst of all, worshippers and priests were killed and injured. Priests and monks epitomize all that is Tigrayan culture. Killing them was a strategic part of this genocidal war from the start. We know that in one massacre alone, 78 priests were killed in just one massacre. And there have been dozens and dozens of massacres that have happened in Tigray. They took my husband. His cross was found on the road, broken. His priestly attire, they tore that and used it to tie his hands behind his back. <laughs> then they killed him on the hillside. We normally begin church services in the middle of the night. When we would come to the church, the enemy forces would beat us and imprison us. During that time, some died. The enemy forces were devil-like, nothing human-like about them. We really suffered. We don't want to say all what happened to us. Religious groups are among the four protected groups of the Genocide Convention. And so destroying religious groups and the associated uh, physical infrastructure uh, in which they operate uh, is uh, part of a systematic attack to, uh, against a protected group. This protected group includes worshippers and students alike killed merely as the unfortunate victims of proximity. Students training to be priests, spiritual students. In world history, this bombardment and targeting of theological students has never been seen, bombed by their own government. But here, we have seen this happen. Our religion teaches peace, teaches love, teaches unity. Killing theological students, bombing the school of the faithful, it is meant to destroy the word of God and the teachings about peace. Aksum, the very center of the Ethiopian Orthodox Church, and ancient religious celebrations since the 4th century was another key target. Where I'm from, my hometown in Aksum, Aksum is a very holy, sacred town. There was a massacre at St. Mary's Church there where more than 700 Tigrayans were killed. Our rich history and culture is a problem for some. They either want to take it or destroy it. At this moment, Tigrayans are being ignored. Um, they're being overlooked, not only by the Ethiopian government, but by the world. It matters to us as Christians uh, that this is a, a predominantly Christian state and all of this shared history is being destroyed. War is not illegal. Sometimes it is even necessary, civil war or across boundaries. But the acts of commissions of crimes against humanity is always illegal, and especially genocide. This is one of the most important uh, center of humanity 
and ancient civilization, and it must be protected. When you see atrocities, when you see ethnic cleansing, you must not stay silent. This genocide must be stopped. Cultural heritage destruction must be stopped. Your voice is important. Please go to our website, tigrayatwar.org, and make it heard.